Hey everyone, it's Silva, and I have less than 30 days to go before I hit the Appalachian Trail again and start my 2023 adventure. I cannot believe I leave next month. I have, um, I get done work next week, and I have only six official days left. Three days this week and three days next week, and then I'll have a little bit of time off before I take the plane ride from Maine to Roanoke, where I get picked up there uh, and brought to Parisburg and restart my adventure. So I thought today's video, I'd just kind of go over um, the countdown, uh, some uh, how I'm feeling, what's going on, just a little update. So the feeling this time is so much different than last time because I'm not at nearly as nervous as I was last time. But because I haven't been as nervous about the trail, I'm a little less prepared, um, I think, this time than last time because I kept, oh, I've got plenty of time, no worries. So I put some things off that now I'm like, ah, I'm less than 30 days to go. I got to get my button gear. So I thought we'd go over everything that's going on and just give you a quick update. So because I spent two and a half months on trail, on the Appalachian Trail in 2021, I think I'm just so much less nervous this time. I'm not worried about, you know, getting to the trail. I feel that's all sad. I'm not worried about resupply. I've done that enough times and caught shuttles and uh, rides with people into town and did my resupply that that doesn't really bother me. Um, Fortunately, one of the things that I was worried about last time was my little dog and we, we lost him last fall, which I'm still so heartbroken about. Um, but I'm not worried about him missing me now. Um, and my other dog, Molly, my big dog, she loves my husband and me, but she doesn't, I don't think she has a favorite. If she does, it's more him than me. So um, she'll be fine. So those things that, you know, were my biggest concerns last time, are not really my concerns this time. Uh, my other concern last time was snakes. I still don't like those too much. I'm getting better, getting better, but rattlesnakes are kind of scary. I have yet to see one. I saw, uh, you know, some rat snakes last time and garter snakes and that's fine, but I have yet to see or hear the rattlesnake. So that'll be interesting. So one of the differences between last time and this time is I am now power of attorney for my mom and she, she had gotten sick and then went into assisted living. She's doing well. Um, she's recently had pneumonia getting stronger. I'll be moving her back to her assisted living home after her rehab um, this week. And you know, I have one of my brothers that helps out with checking in on her and my husband will help out Matt and my youngest daughter will be helping out too as she now works where my mother lives in assisted living and will be able to help assist. Um, and my mom was re is really excited her granddaughter will be around. So that's helpful. There is the chance that I may have to come back um, once or twice to check in if I need to. Hopefully not, but it, it could happen. The other thing that's delayed me mentally, I think, from preparing is I recently had a medical scare. Last fall, I was diagnosed with extreme anemia and I had to go through iron infusions and B12 shots and I've gotten that all taken care of and I feel so much better. But I did recently last month have a different medical scare and, you know, just this past week I got the results finally from all the different testing that it is benign and negative and I was just so thrilled um, to not have to put off my trip because I needed to have you know surgery or any medical care. That is a huge weight off my shoulders and I am just so excited to hit the trail now that that is taken care of. But with that being said I still have a lot of things that I do have to do with less than 30 days to go that I've kind of put off. One of them is I have to fix my backpack. Um, I fell on a backpacking trip and ripped a couple holes in it so I've got to fix that. I have a few more videos that I would like to get done, which I'll have plenty of time for that once I'm officially done at work. And I have to get my food together for my first section. Now, unfortunately, because of where I'll be picking up the trail, I think I'm going to have to carry quite a bit of food. Typically, by the time um, hikers get to this point, they're doing much bigger mileage than I will be starting out. So, you know, I'm going to start out with 8 to 10 miles a day, maybe a little more, but not a lot more. Um, for the first week or so, but that means it may take me a week to get to one of the bigger towns where I can resupply. So I've been looking at Far Out and I've been watching uh, pass through hiker videos to see if there's other places to get off. Um, one place is Four Pines Hostel, which I hadn't really wanted to stay at and I don't really know 
if there's a resupply there. I did see uh, another spot a little further down where I may be able to hitch a shuttle or a ride into Salem and maybe do a resupply. Even if I don't spend the night or anything there, maybe I could do like a shorter day and go in and resupply. I would really hate to have to carry seven days worth of food. That does not sound fun. So um, I'm still working out the details on a good place to pop off and resupply in that stretch before I hit Daleville. So I do have a lot of things already accomplished, thankfully. I um, have, because of all of my backpacking trips, I have all my gear tested and taken care of. I do have to go through my first aid kit and make sure everything is resupplied. Um, and I may do a quick video on that another day. My taxes are all taken care of, thankfully. One of the pieces of gear that I really wanted uh, to bring with me, I do not think it's gonna be in in time. Back in December for Christmas, Matt had ordered me um, the Enlightened Equipment Torrid jacket that I'd been wanting, and I custom picked the colors, and it was so exciting. Um, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be in until the middle to end of April, or that's when it's gonna get shipped and that'll be shipped to the house. So, because I'll have no idea exactly where I'll be on trail at that point. So I may have to have Matt ship it to me at that point, but I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need it by the end of April in Virginia, because I'll have my other puffy with me. So we'll decide when it comes, if I can't wait to try it out, or if I'm gonna end up having to wait until, um, you know, next winter season to try it out. Hopefully it comes in, but I'm not, I'm not counting on that. So I do wish I was in better physical condition. I have been doing as much training as possible, but with, you know, taking care of my mom more recently because she's been in rehab, which is much further away, and I have still been working, and all the medical appointments I've been to lately, which is every time I have a day off, and then if, if I'm not at a medical appointment on a day off, there's a huge snowstorm. So it's been tricky getting out there, but I have been on my treadmill two to three miles every day. I'm trying to increase it, but again, time-wise, it can be difficult, but I have recently been increasing those treadmill miles, doing step-ups on a step I have and going up and down the stairs. And I do, of course, get out uh, for day hikes as often as possible. It's a little trickier in Maine sometimes to get out there on a regular basis with the weather and working, but I'm doing the best I can there, which is why I'll be starting with about eight to 10 miles. Um, that way I don't injure myself and just kind of ease into it. So I'm excited about the weather difference. Last time when I started at the end of February, I hit a lot of really bad weather. It was really cold. Um, the Smokies were miserably cold and wet and just walking in ice water. And I mean, just some terrible weather. A lot of the big views and places I really wanted to see were socked in and I didn't have great weather. So starting at the beginning of April in Virginia, I'm really expecting better weather. I know that it's still April and things can, you know, you can still have terrible weather, but living in Maine, I'm pretty used to terrible weather sometimes. And I made it through last time, it, you know, February, March weather. So I think starting in April will be much more pleasant. <laughs> So overall, how I'm feeling is excited. I am really excited to get back out on the trail, especially now that all my medical things have been dealt with and I'm feeling so much better. Thanks so much for following along. I hope you are all having a fantastic week and you get a chance to get outside. I'm gonna be doing a trail later this week. I'm not sure how big yet, but I'm just excited to get that out there even if it's only for four miles. Hope you have time to get out and enjoy nature as well and I'll see you in the next video.